The Truth About UFOs UFOs real? No, of course not. The only place that you might find a UFO is in a science fiction story or in one of the latest Hollywood movies. Sure, there are hundreds of blurry photographs and even a few videos of objects that some people claim to be UFOs, also known as unidentified flying objects or flying saucers. But these are not real proof of the existence of visitors from other planets. These could be images of balloons, birds, aircraft, or clouds. They might even be faked images. Anyway, why would aliens travel across the galaxy to Earth and then try to keep themselves hidden from our eyes? It just doesn't make any sense. These are just a few of the arguments that can be made against the claim that UFOs are real. However, there is growing evidence that suggests UFOs are, in fact, very real. First, many people say that the U.S. military found a UFO and even the bodies of dead aliens that crashed in New Mexico in 1947 but that the American government has been keeping it secret from the public. The first collected evidence for the existence of flying saucers was published a few years later in 1950 by Major Donald Kehoe, a former U.S. military officer, in a book called The Flying Saucers Are Real. Major Kehoe, as author of the book Flying Saucers Are Real, what is your opinion of these new sightings of unidentified objects? With all due respect to the Air Force, I believe that some of them will prove to be of interplanetary origin. During a three-year investigation, I found that many pilots have described objects of substance and high speed. One case, pilots reported their plane was buffeted by an object which passed them at 500 miles an hour. Obviously, this was a solid object, and I believe it was from outer space. More recently, in 2017, the U.S. Navy shared videos of unidentified objects flying at extremely high speeds. The videos were taken by Navy pilots over both the Pacific and the East Coast of the United States. According to one of the pilots, one of the objects moved in a way that we couldn't explain. NASA, the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, which was responsible for sending the first people to the moon, says that while there is no evidence to show for sure that UFOs are from other planets, neither is there evidence to show that they are not of extraterrestrial origin. Finally, since the discovery of the first planet outside of our own solar system in 1992, Thousands of more extrasolar planets have been found. This, of course, greatly increases the possibility that aliens are visiting us. And this raises an important question. If aliens really are visiting us, are they friendly, and should we welcome them, or should we be worried? The complete multi-page worksheet lesson plan based on this video is now ready to download for free in the link in the description below. Thank you for watching this video. If you would like more free content like this, please consider liking and subscribing to this channel. Or visit www.allthingstopics.com link in the description below. A special thank you to all the following people for their Patreon support.